The town I grew up in finally got a legit coral shop, so I'm gonna take you on a tour of that, and we're gonna go check out that Petco frag tank that I covered last year. Let's go. What's up, coral people? If you're new here, my name is Remy, and this is the Bahama Llama Coral YouTube channel. If you'd like to support the channel, you can do that by liking, subscribing, and hitting that bell notification so you know when I upload new videos. Well, special trip today, field trip going back to my hometown for a small family event. And while I'm there, I'm gonna take you on a tour of this brand new coral shop that we just got. Figured you might wanna see it as well. There have been maybe two shops in my lifetime in the Bloomington Normal area, central Illinois, that have had salt water, uh, coral in particular, and it was years ago that that was the case. And finally, we have a new store called Saltwater Obsessions. And I asked the store owner if we could come in and take a tour. And he was like, no problem. And I figured you wouldn't mind going on that tour as well. While I'm in town, I'm also gonna stop by the local Petco. Up until a couple months ago, you'd either have to go to this Petco or you'd have to drive up to the Chicagoland area if you wanted coral because that Petco actually has a frag tank and it's not just corals strewn about in all the saltwater section like you've probably seen before. I really wanted to see if having a new coral shop in town has had an effect on maybe their prices or how they're taking care of their frag tank. Last time I was there, the frag tank was really gross. They had algae everywhere, which eh, whatever. The corals looked decent, I guess. They were priced really oddly, but it's a Petco. I mean, what do you expect? I'm just as curious as you are to see the tank, so uh, we'll definitely cover that as well. So let's uh, get out of here. Let's go ahead and hit the road. I figured I'd stop by here really, really quickly. Uh, this is wild country. This is where I got certified to be a scuba diver, but uh, this is where I got certified. And right next door here, this empty lot, was a place called Pet Supply Center. And this is where I pretty much grew up loving the hobby from saltwater to freshwater to, to lizards, to frogs, to rabbits. They had everything at this place. And it ended up moving in 2006 to a different location. And then apparently it just went under. I would ride my bike to this location a lot and uh, get fish and get uh, pets and all that kind of stuff when I was a kid. So this is where my addiction kind of started. You know, you come back to a place like this and it's just like instant nostalgia. Uh, and we come back and visit my parents a lot, but uh, I have not come here and so much so that I had no idea that they uh, totally destroyed it. So let's go on over to the actual uh, coral shop that we're going to visit right now. And let's go take a tour of that. But I just wanted to take you on a trip down memory lane. All right, so we just arrived at Saltwater Obsessions. Gonna get out, get the camera gear and all that stuff ready. And then we're gonna go inside and we'll take a tour. All right. So I wanted to focus on this display tank initially here. This is a beauty. So this was one of the first tanks they set up in this space and it had been established Prior to this, it was in one of the owner's homes. And so he just kind of brought this in there and supplemented with all this beautiful, colorful coral. Dragon Soul here, Space Invader, got some brains in here, some nice speckled cracks right there. tank is just loaded and and you know I think what a lot of local fish stores need to do more of is let the consumer see what they can do in their tank because this is pretty stunning I mean you think for a brand new reef shop that you wouldn't see any of this but this tank is fantastic it's a Red Sea you know, those Red Sea tanks, they are not necessarily the cheapest thing in the world, but you get what you pay for. These are really nice. 
This is a rare occasion too. You don't see a lot of shops just carrying Aquaforest products. This is probably the most Aquaforest products I've ever seen in one spot. Uh, but they've got the entire line of Aquaforest products here. And then a whole bunch of products over here. And uh, this, this side of the store I'm really interested in. This is their frag system. You see one grow out is not complete yet. It's, I mean, it's complete, but it doesn't have any water in it. They don't need it just yet. Got a little fragging station over here. And then they've got this frag system here. Just real quick. This is, the, it's so slick looking. So what they did was they took uh, basically pond paint, waterproof paint. And so you get this really nice texture throughout and it just looks seamless. It, you don't have those tubs uh, hanging out at all. It's just seamless. And you'll see this when we get over to the frag tank on the other side, the display frag tank, same thing, same concept. But they've got a lot of stuff growing out in here. Owners have told me that they really wanna focus on propagating and growing out their Zoa collection. So they've got plenty of those, as you can see here. Looks like we're dealing with some T5s and Reef Brights. And if you haven't noticed yet, this used to be an old flooring store. So you get some really cool textures on the wall. And of course they had to display all their nice flooring. So you get some nice tile and flooring throughout here. It makes it look really modern, which is awesome. And as we kind of move on over here, I got some other tanks here for sale, some display tanks for sale. This is uh, mainly a softy tank. This is their main display tank here behind the register. Got some really unique fish in here. It's a box fish, cowfish. And that looks like it is lit with the ATI little hybrid system here, maybe. Uh, the LEDs aren't as powerful on this one, mainly T5s. But that tank looks good too. And as we move on over here to this really cool frag system, blues are really heavy on this side. Even through an orange filter, they're still very blue. But same concept here with the, uh, the pond paint, waterproof paint here. They are running two different systems. It looks like one, but they're running two. So they've got this sump over here, and then this sump over here, and they are wanting to do SPS on this side, and more of the mixed reef stuff on this side. So LPS, softies, all that over on this side. You can see this glass divider right here. I'm gonna finish up with this custom fish system. First of all, look at how like just cohesive this is and professional looking this looks. Lots of clownfish, Tamini Tang, Queen, I think that's a Queen Angel. Tons of selection here. All right, so before we go into Petco, we just got here. Uh, just wanted to talk about Saltwater Obsessions and how awesome it was. I cannot wait to see how that uh, store grows out. I can't wait to see how the coral grows out and how their popularity grows as well. They're talking about uh, starting an online portion of the shop, which is so necessary these days. I feel like uh, if you don't have an online presence, you're behind the eight ball. They're on it. They're doing that right now. So. Super excited to see where they go with that. And I gotta say the most impressive thing about Saltwater Obsessions is their little grow out tanks. I shouldn't say little because they're big and they look so good. It's so easy, I think, to throw away the grow out systems as far as aesthetics. And uh, I think because they are uh, kind of visible from the, uh, from the customer side of the store, 
if they wanted to make them look nice. They look so good. And I'm thinking about contacting the person that built them here in town to see if maybe we can't get something going uh, at the house because those are really, really awesome. So uh, before we go into Petco and get let down, because I'm assuming that we'll get let down at Petco, uh, I just wanted to uh, go ahead and, and give my praise to the guys at Saltwater Obsessions to keep it up. So let's go into Petco now. Let's be 100% honest. I don't think there was any reason to stay in there any longer. Uh, it hasn't changed a bit. <laughs> it, it might even be worse than what it was last time. So obviously nobody from this Petco is watching the video. So just uh, yeah. can't say that I'm surprised, but uh, I'm happy to say that there is a new coral shop in town. And as this is my hometown and the, the town that I grew up in, I'm very uh, happy to say that there is a legit coral shop. So hopefully they grow, hopefully they thrive. If you haven't yet, check out Saltwater Obsessions if you're in the central Illinois area and you can always check them out online and watch them grow. After touring Saltwater Obsessions and having numerous conversation with local fish store owners, I have to say, I'm actually thinking about opening up my own local fish store. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I am kidding. It's a ton of work and I have mad respect for local fish store owners, operators, the employees, everybody. I know you have such a passion for this hobby, so thank you for what you do. Respect to guys like Scott Crow. I don't know how you stay so positive all the time. I guess when you do what you love, and he does, definitely, it just kinda comes naturally. Go check out the videos at Ocean State Aquatics on their Facebook page, on their YouTube, and if you see something that you like, go ahead and make arrangements to purchase that coral and see if they'll ship it to you. I'm sure that they would have no problem selling you something while they get their coral website up and running again. Trust me, they have no shortage of corals. From what I've seen in that farm, they have plenty of stuff to go around. In the meantime, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you're notified whenever I upload new videos. One more mention before we get out of here. The latest Reef News Network podcast I got to co-host with Peter. I was uh, honored that I was asked to be on, but we talked all, all about how to start a YouTube channel about your reef tank. So we get into everything. It's an hour and 20 minute long conversation. So if you've ever wanted to make one of these channels right here, where we're at right now on YouTube, make sure to hit up the Reef News Network podcast and check that out linked below. Whew, that was a lot of plugs at the end there and I apologize. Plug City. A little, little chorus rasp. Just he's so cute. I've had to time out feedings though with him because once the lights start to dim, he's gone. He's buried himself in the sand. So I have to make sure that I can feed him before he goes to bed. Super high maintenance fish. But I mean, super cute, so <laughs> okay. <laughs>